What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. And if you have not seen the new Battlefield trailer that was released yesterday, I will link it down in the description below. But one of the great things that was kind of teased during this trailer was a remake that you're seeing here on screen right now of Operation Metro. Now there's going to be a new DLC coming out in the fall, in the month of October, that's going to be Operation Underground. And they kind of paid tribute to the Battlefield 3 style trailer with this image here. It was kind of the same image in Battlefield 3 when they introduced Operation Metro. Now, I think this is a really cool idea that they're redoing Operation Metro in a World War II style setting. And that is one of the most popular maps ever made for any Battlefield game. So I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. The disappointing thing is we have to wait till the month of October for that to be released. They also tease the Pacific Front DLC. And of course, that is the DLC that is involving the United States being in World War II. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this pretty much since the game was released. They're wanting those style maps, different weapons, different vehicles, that kind of thing, revolving around kind of the Americans being in World War II. So that's another thing they teased. Along with all this, they kind of gave us a roadmap of what we can expect, you know, kind of going forward. For Chapter 4, which is called Defying the Odds, this is going to run pretty much until August. We're going to get a new map in the month of June, a new map in the month of July, some new close quarters maps in August, improvements to Firestorm in the month of June, of course, new weapons, vehicles, and gadgets, and quality life improvements all the way through. Now, if you are new to the game or just now kind of getting back into the game, they release new weapons or currency or something every week. You have certain challenges you need to do. And once those are done for the week, you unlock a weapon. Sometimes it is currency. But if you have missed out on these, don't worry. You can purchase any of those with in-game currency. You know, any of those weapons that have come out in the past chapters. So don't worry about that. But they're doing a lot of things week in and week out for this game. And I really like the idea of them bringing a lot of maps out. If you watch the a video I did a few weeks back about the new Mercury map that was released, I was hoping DICE is going to start releasing a map or even two maps a month just to kind of freshen the game up and give a larger map pool to play in. Now the announcement of Operation Metro and the Pacific DLC was my two favorites. And of course, in case you don't know, all of this stuff is free. This is a live content drop, so you don't have to pay for any of this DLC. It is all free. But I was really excited to see those two things being kind of teased within that trailer. But like I said, I'm kind of disappointed that we have to wait until the fall for this to come out. Because by the, time, by the time that the the Pacific Front DLC and Operation Metro are brought to the game, the game is going to be almost out for a year. And there was so much disappointment with the game to begin with. It lost players, it's gained players, it's lost players. And I wish a lot of this stuff was coming out this summer to get more people interested in the game sooner rather than later because the fall is always the time that a lot of games come out. I mean, E3 is about to be coming up, so we're going to see a lot of games that may be released this year. Of course... DICE and EA will be at E3, so we'll probably get to see some more kind of revolving around this DLC and what they're going to do in the upcoming months for the game. But overall, I wish this stuff, for like especially the Metro map, I wish that was coming out a lot sooner because I'm sure that would bring players back and that's going to be one of the most played maps probably within the game. Anyway, guys, like I said, watch that trailer. It's linked down in the description below. Give me your thoughts on the Operation Metro remake, what you think about the new Pacific Front DLC coming out uh, sometime this fall. And just kind of leave me your thoughts about what DICE is doing as a whole for the game. Do you think it's improving the game overall? Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.